Welcome back to my Noob to Pro series, folks. If you are new to this series, this commentary has been added post-recording, and here, I'm documenting my journey from an absolute beginner to an experienced player. Currently, there are two tech trees which I'm grinding, the Israel tech tree with the Kfir Canard, and the USA tech tree with the F20A. If this is your first video, I highly encourage you to start from video number one. I share all of my mistakes and lessons learned in each video. And since video number 9, I introduce the plane cards where I give a short description on a plane I battle against in the current battle rank. As always, if you have any tips or suggestions on how I could approve my gameplay or this series, please share them in the comments below. I read and respond to each and every comment in the comments section, and any kind of feedback is highly appreciated. In the near future, I'll switch the commentary voice from AI generated to my own personal voice recording. I've considered it, and even though I have a thick Eastern European accent, and my pronunciation is not ideal, I think this will be a great opportunity to practice my English speaking skills. Though for some time the voice quality might drop a bit, for which I apologize in advance. Playing top tier these recent days greatly helped me improve my skills, and I recently found out that there is a radar aim guide so my aim with the F-20A will get even better and better in the upcoming videos. My aim with the Kefir Canard has gotten much better than my first videos too, though this is mainly due to playing with the plane a lot. I have strong opinions regarding talent. I think there is no such thing. Whatever is you're trying to do, just keep at it. Keep trying again and again, and until you know it, you'll get much better. I have a cousin, which was learning to play the guitar, I started learning at the same time as well. He got frustrated and quit within two months because he expected to be a pro right from the start and stopped playing because he thought it was not something he was good at. I, however, enjoyed the grind and the mistakes and I played each day. It's been around 10 years now and I've learned and gotten better at many different instruments because I enjoy the learning process and seeing progress. This is something that is generally applying to life and there is nothing that cannot be learned or improved upon. If you have a goal or a dream, just start it and keep going, especially if you are not good at the start. It's also really important to keep doing it even when you lose the initial motivation. If you do things only because they tickle you, you will never get good at them. It's important to have the resolve to do things even when you don't feel like it. If you're doing things because you have that initial motivation of starting things and they still tickle you, that motivation won't last for a long time. This is something I've learned firsthand. It's really important to plow through and do it again and again each day. This will give you the discipline to be able to see the project through completion. If you manage to do this, there is nothing you cannot achieve and no goal can be too distant for you. With each step, no matter how small, you'll be getting closer to your vision and your goals. So if you have a project you've been meaning to start or a goal or a dream, start today and work on the problems as they arise. There is no such thing as the ideal or perfect start. There will always be mistakes. There will always be things you can learn from. After all, that's the point of improvement, isn't it? I should have turned off the afterburner and extended the air brake here so I could have stayed behind the F5C.
Here you can see my time put in top tier paying off. As I noticed that the missile was approaching, I popped some countermeasures, turned off the afterburner, and hid myself behind the mountains in case the missile was radar slaved. In today's plane card, we'll be covering the Su-25. This plane is almost identical to its downgraded version which we've covered before, the Su-25K. The only differences with its export variant are that the Su-25 has a slightly worse max speed, turn time, and rate of climb. It's a bigger target and it's easily taken down in a dogfight. The Su-25 also differs in the number of countermeasures which are 256 in total instead of 128. Thank you all for watching. Please consider leaving a like if you enjoy this series so far. Subscribe to be in the loop about new videos, and as always, comments with any tips on how to improve are always appreciated. See you all next time.